Our next program is actually the highlight of the night as well. So, who knows what EOY stands for? It's called Entrepreneur of the Year. Okay, so at CIE, every year, uh, we have Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Um, and we also have an EOY Award Committee every year, um, led by Mr. David Fong. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome David to the stage. Good evening. Uh, here at uh, Silicon Valley, we encounter innovation and entrepreneurship every day. So here in CIE, we every year we honor the outstanding entrepreneurs and to hold them up based as an example for all of us to celebrate and more importantly, celebrate uh, them as role model for our next generation. I'm going backwards. All right, so um, we uh, have uh, three categories for the award. Not necessarily every year we have all three categories, but depending on the uh, seniority or achievement uh, of the awardee, uh, we uh, present them with different uh, awards. Uh, so we have Lifetime Achievement Awards, we have a Distinguished Entrepreneurship Award or Entrepreneur of the Year Award, and we also uh, especially here in Silicon Valley, we have the Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year because we know there are a lot of startups which pose great potential. So if you look at our past awardees, when we offer them, when we present them with the award, it could be the uh, uh, Emerging Entrepreneurship Award, but now if we look at them, they are great companies already. So here is a partial list of our past awardees. I uh, believe you will see many uh, familiar names here. So uh, at this point, I would uh, uh, give the stage back to our MC, and she would uh, do the announcement to the honor for the award. Thank you. Thank you, David. So this year we are happy that we have two winners for this award. So let's announce the first one. The first one is the Distinguished Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And the awardee is Dr. Song Lee. So um, we always, okay. Let's, yeah, congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Lee. Um, and every time we actually introduce the introducer first. So we, we have an introducer also. So today the introducer of Dr. Song Lee is Dr. Wen Tao Zhang. So let me introduce him. Dr. Zhang is the Executive Vice President of Frontage Global Drug Discovery Service. Dr. Zhang joined Frontage in 2021 through the acquisition that he founded in 2012. Dr. Zhang has been an ad hoc member of the NIH study section and was a former president of Chinese American Biopharmaceutical Society as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Zhang. Thank you, Christy. Uh, good evening. Um, it's my great pleasure Great pleasure to introduce the awardee, uh, Dr. Song Lee. Um, so I know Song uh, for, for many years, and particularly the past three years, I guess maybe, maybe actually five years, um, 
had a lot of intimate interaction with Dr. Lee, um, uh, involved uh, the acquisition of my previous company. Um, so during that interaction, and I found Dr. Dr. Lee very knowledgeable and also uh, very detail-oriented. I ask all these questions. I think one of the key uh, characteristics for a successful entrepreneur is being looked at the details to make a difference. Uh, Dr. Song Lee is, uh, is a founder of Frontage Laboratories, uh, which is headquartered in Exton, uh, Pennsylvania. And he started this company uh, around 2001. Back then, it's really kind of pioneer, particularly leveraging the both the, the US and, and the China resources to do the global footprint to support uh, biopharmaceutical uh, drug R&D. So over the years, he has significantly expanded the company into over 2,000 employees currently. And this company also was successfully listed in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange back in 2019. So Dr. Lee received his PhD uh, in chemistry from McGill University in Montreal, Canada. Uh, after a couple years of postdocs, he moved to the United States and started his industrial career uh, with companies including uh, Wise. Uh, which the company nowadays known as part of a Pfizer. Um, so he recognized there's the importance uh, that to support the drug discovery as kind of an independent contract research organization. So over the years, he's, I mean, he obviously started a advantage and over the years grew that into a very big cross, uh, cross three continents. So when he started in the US, then moved, expanded into China, and then, just uh, beginning of this year, he led the team to expand into uh, Italy, in, in, uh, in Europe. So, Dr. Lee has been the recipient of many awards, uh, including the Realized America Dream Award, Outstanding 50 Asian Americans in Business Award, and uh, as well as the Entrepreneur Award of uh, uh, in 2018 from Ernst Young. Uh, so, uh, uh, another thing I want to uh, mention, I noticed this, uh, this program, and end of this program has a scholarship for high school students. So one thing is for, for Dr. Lee and his wife, they sponsored uh, high school students and college students uh, in, uh, in the Pennsylvania area for their scholarship, as well as donated to multiple uh, uh, to college for, for biomedical research. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Sony. I guess I give to Christy for her to Okay, thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much for the introduction. Thank you. Now uh, let's welcome our awardee, Dr. Sony Lee, to the stage. Dr. Lee, please come to the stage. Congratulations. Let's take a brief photo first. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, Dr. Song, please. Now the floor is yours. Twenty-three years ago, I started from 
in New Jersey with a $100,000 investment from a six front. Now, the reason to start, a lot of people ask why you want to start a, a company. Because that time, I, when I was, I was aware, I was a section head. I, I did two groups, small groups. One R&D group developed generic product. Another group to the technical transfer. So one in New Jersey, another one in Pennsylvania. Many times, we have our project really like very high, have very tight timeline. We cannot do that also. We have to come back out to other company plans. But many times, the results come back. The quality is not good, and also sometimes it takes very, very long time to get the results. So my, my people, they all tell me, Dr. Lee, if you start the lab, I think you can do much better than those labs. I also believe I can do better. So I started the, the company in 2001. But the entrepreneur is not really a strange path. As I look back, there is a lot of challenges. The first challenge is the money. You know, like you can, I cannot raise a lot of money, like it is $100,000, almost nothing for to set up an electrical lab. So I use the money to acquire, use equipment, and to use furniture on the surplus sale market. I use the weekend and the evenings to build up the lab by myself with about two, uh, totally decent 2,000 square feet. I build, build up almost everything, bunch, film hood, water lamp, power lamp. It took me about six months really to make the lab work. Then I started really take project from my former colleagues and the people they know me. But the challenge is that I only have like one hundred thousand dollars. I use all the money for the lab. I have no working capital. I have to refinance my whole mortgage to get another one hundred fifty thousand dollars as a working capital. I cannot hire people. Several of my former colleagues want to join Frontage, but I have no money to pay them. So first year, I, I work in the lab by myself. But I'm very, very lucky. I think there are several clients, even some big pharma company, they have some problem with their product. They cannot develop a method to test drug in the biological samples. So I help help them solve the problem. I'm going to get some water. Give me some water. Yeah. So that the company like really, they give me the project. I solve the problem for them. So we, I earn their trust and their business. So those companies right now still, still are our clients. I can tell like many even big pharmaceutical companies. Like Johnson Johnson, BMS, Roche, and some other companies, and also several Japanese companies like Isai, Isai and the Tequila. Today they still are key clients. Like the TNG, we do about two million dollars business with each year with them. So that's the front page we start from there. Today we That's the history of our front page. Here is the, what, what, what do we have. Today we have like, overall we have about 2,000 employees. In the US we have 12 sites, 12 of them in the Bay Area, one in Hayward, another one in Palo Alto. We also have like, in North America we have about half million square feet laboratories, animal facilities and clinical centers. In China, we get into we set up the first lab in Shanghai in 2006. From there, we grew like pretty fast. In last year, uh, about uh, like uh, 15 years or 17 years, we grew like to about 12 sites in China, mainly in Shanghai, Suzhou, Wuhan, Zhengzhou, and also Weihai. We have more than one million square feet facility in China. We just get into Europe in Milan, Italy, early this year. 
also like in last 20, 23 years, from it we become from like very small testing lab, we become a full service CRO company of drug discovery, development, and the laboratory test. So basically, like in the past, if you without the C, uh, CRO company, if you have a molecule, you need to raise money, build up a team, build up a lab, then you start your your your, your research, your project. But today, if you have a molecule, you give it to Frontage. Then Frontage will take care of all the process, really from the early stage to FDA approved. You don't need, you just give the money to Frontage, will take care of it. So the, and also the reason we start getting into the discovery, even you can just tell, tell us what therapeutical drug you want to develop, then we can make the drug for you. Then we can get to the screening, in vitro, in vivo, the whole process. So then we, we call them the one stop shop for drug discovery and development. The second company I found is really the is a from Tida. From Tida when I take over this company really called Mutual Pharmaceutical is one of my two clients, the first two clients. This company in, in Philadelphia they have about 800 people at the peak. So they have three sites, two in Philadelphia, another one in, in Chicago. But the company sold twice in 2000, 2011 and 2013. Then in 2016, the company had big problem. The FDA gave, gave them a warning letter, and so they had financial issues. They lost about $6 million. So the, the, the owner would like to shut down us, even though one bought it. So the management team, they know, know me very well. They believe I can jump in, take over the company, save their job, and also turn the things around. So I also believe I can do it because I know this company very well. So in 2002 2016, I take, this, take over this company and split two companies, one in the frontier, which provide CDMO, contract development and manufacturing service. Another one is the United Research Laboratories. This one we want some like generic product and the product. So I, I start to rebuild the the management team and rebuild R D lab. Because they, 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 they shut down the R D lab. We rebuild the R D lab, hire like about fifty scientists, twenty six of the PhDs. So very strong and lab. So we turn the business around in about three years. So by the fourth year we have about we start to really profit more. In the fifth year we have about ten million dollars positive EBITDA. By the end of 2023 I sold the CDMO to a PE fund. I still keep the URL as the virtual a virtual company hold the product. Yeah, as an entrepreneur, I think my approach is that first we need to build up our strength. We build strong scientific team and management team. At Frontage, we have about 2,000 employees. About 400 of them are PLDs or MDs. About 20% of our employees have PLD or MD degrees. Very strong scientific team. And the management team also almost come from the bunch. We have very strong management team. They know what they are doing. We also build the best laboratory facilities with the advanced equipment on the market. From it, we invest more than $200 million in 23 years into the lab. All the money we make, we bring back, invest back into the lab in the last 23 years. So we also harmonize the high quality standard system for global operations. No matter now in which area, in US or in China or Europe, we use the same quality standard. Basically, the data generated in one lab can use for global factors. So that, that's the high quality standard. Even the US FDA, they really very happy with our system. 
Another one is we constantly improve operation efficiency to deliver high quality results at a fast speed with a lower cost. So with the, all of those strengths, we can compete with all the competitors in the world. That's from the Y from it grew pretty fast. In the last 10 years, we have a paper of growth more than 30 percent. So we still project in the next five years will grow another like each year will grow about 25 to 30 percent. Most of them through the organic growth. But recently we also did some acquisition. Yeah. I think my success is really have some support. First, I will really thank my mom. My mom still in, live in, in China. He's 88, 88 years old this year. And he gave me life, love, and guidance. And I talk to her almost every day. And she is kind, generous, and also hardworking. And she went the best mother award from the Women's Federation of Henan Province, my home province, last year. <laughs> she still working in the farm every day, at least six hours every day, even today. Yeah, yeah I'd like to thank my family, my wife, and my daughters for their support. Without their support, I cannot go this far. Yeah, I'd like to thank my colleagues, friends, frontage shareholders, and also frontage clients for their support, their trust, and their confidence in me. The tremendous level of endorsement really made my life very enjoyable. Even I work very hard. 15, 15 hours almost every day, but I really enjoy to work because there are, there are support. Thanks, all of you, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, Dr. Song Lee.